Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today's topic is about comparing different results that you can get within Harmony. That can mean comparing results of different pressure loss correlations, of the performance of one well against another well, uh, or even which operator has a better average rate. Uh, did you know you can do all this within Harmony? Let's check it out. So we're going to show a few case studies. One of them is going to be, for example, how do you compare different wellbore correlations with the bottom hole pressure that you'll get? Another is how do you compare the average rate of different operators or different well vintages? What about with RTA? How do you compare the linear flow parameter or area square root k from one well against another well? And even how do you compare results from a different IHS engineering product like Piper to look at different scenarios and the resulting outcomes? Okay, so case number one, comparing different bottom hole flowing pressure results. So here we have a shale gas well, and initially there was only casing, but then a couple months later tubing was installed. So we have a record of both the tubing as a pressure source and also the quiet side, the annulus or the casing. So we may want to say, see which of these pressure sources would give us a reliable bottom hole flowing pressure and what would the difference be? So of course in my wellbore editor, I have my initial configuration with casing flow, and then later when tubing was installed. And I'm using the gray pressure loss correlation. So over in the production editor, we see that initially uh, we don't even have tubing installed, so casing will be our default pressure source. But then later, once tubing is installed, we can choose to continue with casing as our pressure source, or we can switch to tubing as our pressure source. We'll start with our casing. So we calculate the bottom hole, flowing pressure, go to our diagnostics, okay and here's our calculated bottom hole flowing pressure using the casing as a pressure source. So what I'm going to show you is we're, we're going to right click on the bottom hole pressure and we can say copy that data set. Next we're going to go to results, go to comparison plot and we can simply right click and say paste and this is going to be our bottom hole flowing pressure calculation using casing and this is the gray pressure loss correlation. Okay. Next we're going to go back and we're going to change our pressure source to tubing once the tubing was installed. Okay. So now we're going to recalculate our bottom hole flowing pressures, go back to our diagnostic and our new bottom hole pressures are here in black. So we're going to copy that data set, go to our results, and paste. Okay. This is our bottom hole flowing pressure using tubing gray. Okay. So I'm going to, I want these colors to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to right click and say customize. And I can make the, uh, the casing can be red as my pressure source and then I'll make my tubing pressure source green. Okay and we can see those different resulting bottom hole pressures depending which pressure source we use, tubing or casing. Um, in the same way I did this you can do the same thing like I've done here which is comparing different pressure loss correlations and what those resulting bottom hole pressures are. So that's example number one to use the comparison plot. Next we're going to use a comparison plot to look at the average rate among different operators and this is using monthly production data. So I've got three operators, uh, BHP, Southwestern and XTO. So with Southwestern I've gone ahead and created a type well. Uh, I've got it right here and this is my average QM versus normalized time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to say average copy data set. Again this is my, these are my Southwestern wells I've got right here. So I'm going to go over to my comparison plot. Click paste and this I'm going to rename it Southwestern type well XTO. I've got a type well already made so we'll do the same thing there. Right click 
copy data set, paste. And we'll finish with my BHP type well. Okay, so again, you can customize the colors here to make them a bit more unique. All right, so that's another example of comparing different operators type well against each other. And you can do the same thing for different well vintages. All right, so another example of using the comparison plot is using RTA. So we're going to use the linear flow parameter here from our area square root k. So all we're going to do is right click on this plot and you can say copy or you can just send this to a uh, comparison plot. So I'm going to try, I'm just going to send it there and we'll see it appear. So this is well number 12 and there we see it sent automatically here. So I'm going to rename this well 12. We'll look at another well. I'm going to copy it this time, paste, well, 13, we'll do one more, well, 17, copy, paste. Now, some of these things I may not want, like I don't really need, care about the end of linear flow line. I don't care about my interpretation. I really just care about the data being plotted between the wells. So now I can right click, customize, and I can start making the colors a little different or unique between them. Okay, here we can see well 12 in blue and well 17 in green have a very similar uh, slope or area square root K, uh, where well 13 in red seems to have a lower productivity. It's a, a more steep slope. So that's a great example with RTA. Now another example of using the comparison plot is using the IHS Piper software to take its results and paste them into the comparison plot in Harmony. So here we have a gathering system set up. Each of the circles are wells and the colors are representing the friction in the pipelines. Uh, each of these wells is following a decline into the future. Now this operator did what's called the baseline forecast which is assuming they're not going to drill any additional wells in and you can actually predict what the wellhead pressure will forecast as as the rates decline. Uh, but in this case, they wanted to do another scenario where they schedule these two additional wells being tied in at specific dates, and then two months later, two additional wells being tied in. And we can see that Piper is predicting that the line pressure will increase and the friction loss will also increase in these segments. What we're curious about, though, is this corner well, is what will its wellhead pressure be with this new... Um, bottleneck happening and this extra volume being added into the gathering system. So we can take this well on the top left and see that its wellhead pressure is expected to increase a lot and then increase again when those new wells are tied in. So we can copy this plot from Piper and over in Harmony's comparison plot we can paste it. So we'll call this our well tie in wellhead presser forecast for the well in question. And we can see this is the wellhead pressure profile that Piper's predicting tying no new wells in or in comparison what that well will experience as a line pressure 
if we tie in new wells. Now you can of course connect RTA to Piper and get a rate response uh, or the back out volume by this line pressure increase. But here it's another quick way if we're just using profile wells to predict the difference in the wellhead pressure. But really what does this comparison plot mean for you? Well, we all know that comparing results in different sensitivities is critical when we make these decisions. And you can do that all within Harmony Enterprise, taking the results and comparing these scenarios. Secondly, really you're going to save so much time. If you thought that you have to do this in Excel to export the results from Harmony or Piper to compare them, you don't have to. This comparison plot within Harmony and Harmony Enterprise will let you do this just as quickly as I showed you here. And that's it. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please call or email me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.